nah I know the plan is aligned, this shit be cosmic But what's a retrograde to a renegade in the projects? My mindset is to avoid most nonsense And don't comment on issues that I don't vibe with What's up with it? It's your boy Noonie It's Leo in the third house And we back with another reading Yup, what's up with it? This your boy Noonie And this Leo in the third house Back with another reading this is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question, who's keeping tabs on you? And for a little razzle dazzle, it's going to be a why. That's always the best part. The why. Why are you keeping your tabs on me? <laughs> yeah, right? So uh, this is just something I just wanted to do. Um, no real reason. There was no real rant behind this. I think I've done something like this before. You know, I, oh, 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 oh. I remember why I wanted to do this because um, I was using uh, Abbott's Tats Tarot, right? One day I was looking at this reading I did maybe like a year ago. I think it was uh, Who's Spying on You? And I used her, I used her uh, oracle in there. I think I did. Was it that reading? I think it was. I don't know, man. But anyway, in there I was like, yo, this girl, um, they are uh, spying on social media. You inspire them, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it, was a, it was a lady who sings but doesn't sing. And I was like, what? Someone who sings but doesn't sing. It's a singer who sings but doesn't sing. So I was like, oh, okay, I thought I was tripping. One day, I'm scrolling down my Instagram and I see one of my followers on The Voice. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like, this, like for like the most of that year, last year, I was like following her and you know, she would just take nice pictures and and like of like the desert and all this stuff. And like, you know, she would just like, I think she played the guitar once and she sung a little bit. I was like, okay, that's nice. But like, I didn't know. So it was like, you know, it was really cool to see it. I was like, wow, your boy's nice. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I was like, yeah, boy, you nice. <laughs> all right, anyway, that was enough. That was all I, that was, that was it. That was, <laughs> that was it. <sighs> anyway, y'all. Uh, having a great morning. I'll be getting a lot of good rest now. I'll be going to bed early, like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you know what I mean? Like before 10, I'll be out. And then I'll be up every morning, like six o'clock, ready to go. And then I'll be tired by like eight o'clock, like an old man. I'm like, dang, what's going on here? Life is changing, maybe? Is that me growing up? I don't know, hopefully not. I wanna be Peter Pan. <laughs> anyway. I got four piles here, y'all. All right, take a look at these piles. All right, there's gonna be a close up of them uh, after I number them off. All right, it'll be pile one, two, three, four. Um, Timestamps will be in the description box. As always, thanks to all those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, getting involved. Thanks to those people who be booking those personal readings. Hey, I love y'all in those in those video chats, those video readings that we do together. Um, I'll be having a ball with y'all, man. I have a ball like in all of this. So, huh, that's it. That's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you this picture of the close-up of these stones. And then, you know, I'll be back with the power one and then boom. All right? Boom. Power one. So, power one. Who's keeping tabs on you? Could be, I got Leo, Leo, Virgo, Aries, um, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, all right. I thought I read attraction, but it says attainment. So these are people maybe who wanted to attain you could be very spiritual people or a spiritual person. This could be somebody who you divorced because I got the Ten of, Pent Ten of Pentacles and uh, the Hierophant in reverse. So this could be somebody that you uh, divorced. This is going to be somebody who's um, either getting money or giving you money or people give them stuff or they're very gifted, very talented, or they come from money. One of these two. All right. This is somebody who's going to be very independent, very self-sustainable. They could work a lot, work by themselves. Uh, maybe, maybe they're into like yoga, into health, something of that sort. Not like, mm, they could be a nurse because of healing, but this is somebody who's, who's feeling a little insecure. They're dealing with insecurities. They're healing it though, but they're dealing with insecurities. 
And what they're healing is the acceptance. So this could be acceptance of themselves, acceptance of the past uh, things that happened, past, you know, past upsets, you know, past disappointments, past sorrows. All right. And they want some type of restore. All right. Now, either they could be trying to restore their balance, like cause this is root chakra here. So they could be trying to restore their balance, like get themselves back stable again. You know what I mean? And, and get back to like what their needs are or they're trying to restore your connection. All right. This is going to be somebody who wants to go for it, though. All right. They're feeling like they've gotten some type of new information. They've gotten the final piece. All right. That makes sense. Maybe they've gotten the final piece that makes sense to them. This is someone who wants marriage or long term. All right. They want some type of they feel like you guys are compatible. They want some type of fulfillment with you. All right. They may feel like you're a soulmate. OK. This person feels like you fulfill their intimacy needs. They say they think that you exude or they exude uh, divine feminine power and psychic gifts that are untouchable to muggle. Embrace the divine within you. So they may be very spiritual. Yeah, you know, they may be very spiritual and they want to come. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. So this person could be a soulmate to you because it says you got some big ass love coming in with a soulmate. Be open and wise to take it. So they could be wanting to come in and maybe give you a gift, maybe like a teddy bear or something. This may be somebody who's like uh, somebody who's realizing that they have a uh, a codependency or emotional codependency to somebody from their past. So they may be like holding on to some type of like hurt trauma from like the past that they're still remembering, and that's what they're working through because they're in the energy of I can't trust anyone. So they're being they're healing. All right, this person is healing, and they're trying to open their heart and release. All right, this person has a lot of spiritual strength. You know what I mean? I'm saying like the hair fire and the shaman. So like they could be very intuitive, very, very like you got two Virgos here. We got two Virgos here. All right. You could be like um, they're very spiritual. All right. It could be like non-traditionally spiritual too. like, you know, they, or, or they maybe have a different spiritual belief than you or they have just d different belief in general. But I feel like it's a different spiritual belief than you. But it could be similar to, you know, or it's just non-traditional. It's one of the two. All right. And this is someone who likes to be alone. They're very wise. They like to think deep. Maybe they like to have deep conversations. But the issue is that they're not really quite sure how to initiate with you. That's where the issue is. So they've been thinking about it and considering it and pondering on it. But they're not really quite sure how to how to uh, initiate with you, like how to start it. They want to start something here passionate with you. And it could be like in terms of like, no, it's in love. They want love. So I was about to say, it could be like in a creative form, but I mean, sometimes Juno can be like a business partnership because that is like a marriage that's long term. You know what I mean? And like compatibility is needed in that too. And there's like a feeling of like teaching or maybe teaching powers or, or, or they have power to teach or something like that. They could be like a government official or unofficial official or something like that. So they may have like a title, but they're not like over top of everybody. It may, it may be it could work for like the government, but not quite the government. Like, you know what I mean? It's like the government, but maybe like a subsidy of the government or like a contractor of the government. You know what I mean? So like they're a hand of the government or a hand of a corporation or business. They're like a hand of something. You know what I mean? Usually there's like a, a know-it-all. So this is someone who has like a lot of information somehow. Hmm. Yeah, they got a lot of information. Very creative. They're going to be very passionate, but they're just not quite sure how they're going to initiate it with you. They want to. I don't know. I kind of want to be nosy and see how they want to initiate it, if they will. It's like a desire to do so. They just don't know to, how. It's like kind of like um, they're just trying to gain their own stability, their emotional stability. That's that's the first thing that they're trying to do is gain their emotional stability. So I guess if I'm being truthfully honest, once they get over that, because that's what they're healing is an insecurity around being vulnerable. So I'm sure when they work through that, that's actually when they'll be able to like initiate because if they're healing, they're transmuting that energy. And that, you know, that energy has to go somewhere. So it goes into some type of passion. And that's where the Ace of Wands is. Even though it's in reverse, that's where that's coming from. All right. So it says, as you release your attachment, this person is releasing their attachment to the high and low. You find peace and balance. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, they'll probably say something soon. Soon. All right. I wouldn't say too long. At least by tour season or airy season. By that season, you'll probably hear something from this person. All right, we do got Sagittarius season, so that's possible, but that's like about to start up in a week or so, but you know, it is like 30 days. So maybe, all right, so let's just say this, Sagittarius, Taurus, or Aries season, or for some, it could even be Virgo, or it could even be in Leo season, all right? So I'll be looking for that. 
but I was thinking like um, springtime, because the, the first card out was Fortuna, and it looks a little bit more springish. So, but you know, whenever you know, just it come when it come. Okay, um, this person does feel like they're broken right now, so that's that's probably it's probably not a good time for that. You know what I mean? If they did say anything, I mean maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe they want help because they could want you to give them the last piece to something to help them. But I feel like they feel like they got that piece already. So, you know what I mean? They want to go for it because they feel like you're the final missing piece to them as well. But right now, they haven't figured out exactly how to initiate. And it's because they're still healing. So, all right. So, let's get some advice real quick. We got judgment. Let go of your fear of being judged. You are good enough. It is time to release all that you have kept, safely locked away in your heart. Your true essence and potential have been locked or have been restricted by structure and method for long enough. There is no right or wrong way. Just be you. All right. So let's go over signs one more time. We got Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, uh, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. So pile one. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney, and this Leo in the third house. Boom, pile two. So, pile two. Who is keeping tabs on you and why? Okay, so we got Gemini, Taurus, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Um, I, this could be like a farmer. I don't know why. For some, not all. This could be like a farmer. Someone could be feeling disappointed about some type of harvest they thought they were going to get, but it didn't. So they're kind of watching you. All right. This could be somebody who's not feeling super abundant or not feeling like they have as many options or not feeling as attractive. They may have just had a previous heartbreak or disappointment that's kind of left them shaken. This could be somebody who's dealing with like addictions, all right, or some type of toxicity. I mean, that's general, but that's what they're doing. They want to detox, all right? So this is someone who's trying to detox, all right, get free of, of maybe negative self-belief or get rid of like some type of addiction. They could be eating differently, you know what I mean? They could be drinking a little bit more water or whatever eating more greens, leafy greens, stuff like that. Their subconscious is changing. This person is recognizing patterns, limiting beliefs. That's what detoxing is. So this is what this person is doing. They're recognizing limited beliefs. And they're kind of avoiding this change. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's undes undesirable change. So they're kind of avoiding the inevitable. They know it's coming. It's the tower with the, with the, with the devil. This could be somebody who maybe had a passing of it or like a major situation that happened, like a tragedy of some sort that really happened and shook them up all right this could be like a death that they might have had i got three swords with it right next to the tower and all you know what i mean or like an unexpected pregnancy or or miscarriage or it's something like that around health bad something bad all right um i don't know it, it rocked their foundation so this person is trying to get connected and get grounded again all right, they feel like they've made so many mistakes and they're kind of like in this guilt and shame feeling right now. So they feel like they've made so many mistakes and they will not forget, but they're trying to hold out hope. So this person is trying to declutter. They're trying to clean out, yeah, like detoxify all that. They're trying to clean out their space, clean out, get rid of stuff. Maybe they moved, house fired, something like that. Some type of major situation that like hurt them or, or like took them out. Maybe they, mm, could have been an accident, you know what I mean? Yeah, this person's in isolation and they're feeling sorrow. So, yeah, they're going through a dark night of the soul. That's what's going on. That's what they're inevitably avoiding. Because it says it here, the crow. It says, you are going through a dark night of the soul. Remain calm. This is a purge and a release to renew you. So that's what they're avoiding, this inevitable change that's meant to come for them. Because they're really the empress, all right? But they're, they're seeing themselves as the empress in reverse. So they're not feeling super attractive. They're not feeling super abundant. They're not feeling like they're reaping any of their their harvest or their rewards. They're possibly feeling undervalued. You know what I mean? It's just feeling distraught, not feeling like being responsible or taking care of themselves. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's kind of like what they're avoiding, taking care of themselves. All right. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, this person may have had a loss or a shock or struggle that they are bottling up, and they're avoiding some type of truth on purpose and compromising their integrity. Hmm. Yeah, so they have had some type of injury. Uh, so if if not like a bad like I mean I, they, I know that it hurt somehow. So they had some type of injury. All right. Now what kind of injury? Not really quite sure. Some of it it could be like catastrophic, like really bad. You know what I mean? Or some it could just be like you know it was hurt. You know what I mean? Like they were hurt in some way. All right. So now they're not feeling super abundant or feeling confident within themselves. Or they're not feeling very motherly or nurturing. They don't feel like nurturing things anymore. So if it was like a heartbreak, it was something that came out of nowhere. It just like just caught them off guard, and it really shook them. All right, and this is like they're healing from that. All right, so this person is learning to open their heart, and they're trying to let it all go. So what's being healed for them is their third eye chakra and their heart chakra, and this is around seeing things a lot more clearly, seeing situations a lot more clearly. As far as actions, if anything, what they're going to do is take themselves off a pedestal. Like they may take themselves off of this uh, this high horse, like of maybe treating people less than, because kind of like a vibe of them treating people less than. So that's probably something that they're going to do, take themselves off of the, off of that. Um, and they're going into like isolation. They're going to probably be tapping into their spirituality a lot more. All right? This is someone who has like an attractiveness. This is someone who uh, they're trying to show the world the real them, or they're Mm -mm, that's not it. They're trying to, I don't know, maybe they're trying to come into, come in to your place or come try to come somewhere. They're trying to make an entrance, but I guess it's an entrance into your life. This is somebody who wants to work with you. They want to network with you. So this could be somebody who works at like a corporation, like a large corporation, or this is somebody who um, works at, they're like, they work with you. They want to create a partnership where you guys build stability, wealth, you know what I mean? Like a partnership that builds something large scale. All right. Like they want to do that. They, this could be somebody who's very focused with thoughts, very good with communication, um, like structured talks, uh, structured thoughts. So like the way they think is very organized or very precise. And when they communicate, it's very precise. So they feel like they made so many mistakes and that's what they're healing. Like they're, they're getting over these, this self-sacrificing energy and this limiting belief. So a lot of these patterns and a lot of these um, previous programming things that they've had to them are ending. Like they're not, they're not on that anymore. They're starting to recognize the connection to a lot of the things from their subconscious to what they're seeing in their reality. So they're now starting to pay attention with how they enter into a room or how they enter into situations in general. Like how they present themselves is becoming a lot more focused. Because like I said, they have like focused thoughts. So that's what's coming into into play for them. So they're spying on you because they're dealing with like some type of hurt, heartbreak, some type of disappointment. Um, and it could be because they're feeling like they don't, like you've left them out in the cold maybe, or you, you've abandoned them. Like they're having some type of sorrow, some disappointment, like they're not feeling attractive. So I guess they're keeping tabs on you because they feel like there's an ending that happened, an ending that happened between y'all. Or they're, they're keeping eyes on you for real, because I got a lot of eyes in here, and they're keeping eyes because maybe they feel like you're the devil, or they feel like you're having a lot of options. They feel like you're having a lot of options, or they feel like you're compromising your integrity. Hmm. Yeah, this person doesn't feel super attractive, though. Right, and they're disappointed in some way or somehow. You know, but they're keeping eyes on you because they don't really. Like, that's what it is. Maybe they don't feel super attractive. Maybe that's why they tag. Like they're upset. They're tagging you. Maybe they're tagging you. But I feel like that's why they're, they're, they're uh, keeping tabs on you because they're not feeling super attractive. Maybe you let them go. Maybe you. Maybe that's what that was. Maybe there's like an ending or something here, like a release, and they haven't really released. You know what I mean? Like they're still holding on to that. So it's kind of like a disappointment that they're holding on to, and they're not feeling as either. They're not feeling as abundant. So they could be like. Mm, no, that's not it. Yeah, but they want to work with you. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're feeling super, they're, feel, they're not feeling abundant because they want to network with you. 
they want to build something large and this could be like a relationship i was thinking like a business but whatever they're not feeling like super abundant they're not feeling things are working for them so you know maybe they want to work with you or i don't know i think they want to rebuild something so they could be wanting to like rebuild because the tower reverse sometimes can be like an, an attempt to rebuild something that was built on faulty on felt on faulty foundation or built on something that maybe started off kind of toxic because we got the devil here so it could be that they could be feeling oppressed by some type of ending that you guys have and that's why they're like or some type of ending they had they're feeling oppressed you know what I mean and they could be wanting to control you or they could be wanting to control the situation the way that it goes because like it's undesirable change that they don't want to deal with so they could be trying to control that all right, so this could be between y'all or I don't know. I don't know what your social media does, but you know, there seems like a connection here to their subconscious and their intuition. So they're just mostly healing. But that's why they, that's why they're watching. They're trying to declutter and all that, and they're trying to keep hope. So this person, yeah, that's it. I don't think they want to do too much. I don't think they have anything towards you, but maybe. All right, here's your advice: conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We are ain't, wait, this person could be lusting on you. They may not feel super attractive though. That's what this is. This person could be lusting on you. They just don't feel super attractive or they're feeling they're dealing with some type of disappointment or, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. All right. They're going through some type of transformation, though, around their subconscious and their limiting beliefs. So at this point, this person doesn't feel super attractive. Something in the past is, you know, taking them out and they're kind of like dealing with that. They're trying to get a new perception of themselves and of life in general. That's what the tower inverse is. So they're keeping out hope and they're, and they're actually starting to heal. And they're probably going to be coming around soon, maybe. Mm -hmm. But some of, for some of you, this could be about attraction and, and them being like lusty on you, not feeling super attractive themselves. But anyway, it says, you are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love, not what you think you should do. All right. So let me give you signs again. We got Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini. All right. This could be people in your community, in your workplace, or they people that you work with. They want to build a connection with you that builds wealth. You know what I mean? Builds something. It's enterprising. All right. Good networking is what they want to do. So they're in your network. All right. So, Pile 2, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nuni, and this is Leo in the Third House. Boom, pile three. So, pile three, who's keeping tabs on you and why? All right, we got Sagittarius, we got Sagittarius, we got Capricorn, we got Aquarius, we got Capricorn, somebody with status, they could be a celebrity. All right, got Scorpio. Okay. Got a celebrity. Possibly. If it's not a celebrity, this is like a high-ranking official. Somebody who's up there. Somebody who makes a difference in people's lives. All right. And this could be a spiritual person. Very spiritual person. All right. We got... This is somebody maybe who's been to your house. Or someone who's very... You're maybe comfortable with. Or they're very comfortable. Very soothing. They could be very warm. They could have just had a baby. Well, they don't have to. This could be like somebody who has like a family. All right, like a family dynamic. They maybe could be home for the winter. This could be like a teacher or someone who has public reputation, public image, all right, like a public face. All right, this person may be feeling slightly disconnected maybe from a partnership or feeling disconnected from y'all. This could be somebody at a distance or a traveler. This is somebody who wants to expand. It could be like in the archery or like, I was going to say the Olympics, so I don't know. Maybe that's a sport, like maybe they're Olympic. All right, that's going to be funny if that really shows up somewhere. <laughs> All right, um, this is a person who's very good at handling their responsibilities and their priorities. They don't get distracted. They're a leader. 
All right, they could be a leading, stepping up right now. They want to step up for a partnership too, though. So maybe they want to uh, collab with you or they want to work with you or they want to give you a higher position. Um, they really appreciate your gentleness, especially with children and animals. They think that you are very pure, yeah, I was about to say very pure, but very powerful and spiritually protected. So this person thinks you're, you're, very, uh, you're very beautiful or very attractive and that you have confidence, that you give them a much needed confidence boost. Um, now this could be somebody who has a huge ego and they, com they, comp uh, they, they create problems for other people. This could be that. This could be somebody who has money, status, like authority. So if they're not like a celebrity, they have like status. They may be, I was supposed to say rich. So they could be wealthy, like wealthy. They may have it. <laughs> you know what that means when I say they be having it? They might be having it. That means they be having a lot. They're a magician because you got this. So this person can make things happen out of nowhere. They may be really good with their hands. All right. So like maybe they do like construction or like um, masseuse. Well, is that can you be a celebrity masseuse? Maybe they're like a celebrity cook or maybe they work out. Uh, maybe they're a teacher. They have spirituality that they believe in. Um, but this person feels like everything is connected and they feel like this is a beneficial moment. They're going to be a beneficial person. So they want to spend time with you in quiet contemplation or just in a quiet space zone, just kind of communicating with you. This person wants to like nest. So if this is a woman or if it's a man, maybe they want to have like kids or they want to like, I don't know. They want to kind of like spend time together, snuggle, nest up or whatever. Um, so this could be somebody who's having a, a huge ego and then maybe they have conflict with other people. They have an ego, that's for sure, all right? Now this could be somebody who's, maybe they're starting to release, like starting to become open. Cause this is somebody who's gonna be like, uh, kind of closed off to people. They're like letting, they're letting new people in. That's what it is, they're letting new people into their life. All right, they've transmuted some type of previous uh, beliefs that they've had, like familiar beliefs some type of familiar beliefs, or they could be um, transmuting something around like houses, housing. So maybe like they're moving, or maybe like they're moving, or they or they've just released something from the past, something old. And this could be like materials, maybe like a job. Mm, it could be like a job, but I'm thinking more like friends, relatives, beliefs, ancestral patterns that were taught to them. They're releasing that, they're transmuting that. All right, this person is very easy to get along with. They're very harmonious and they're, and they're keeping tabs on you because they feel like maybe you released them. You guys had an ending around some type of partnership. All right, or like you're not open to traveling or you're not open to a partnership. They're like, they're keeping eyes on you about that. This person wants to offer you something here. They want to collab with you. They want to work with you. They want to do something with you, but they feel like maybe you're not open to it or like, you're riding off into the sunset, doing something. They have a choice here. This person has a choice, an emotional choice, and they want to create something here. So they feel like it might be over, or maybe a relationship is over. That's why they kind of like, they're not sure if a relationship is over. That's what it is. So they're keeping tabs on you because they don't know if you're if you have a relationship, and they're wondering is it over. That's why they're keeping tabs on you. Yeah. All right, this could be like a person at a, at a distance because we got the eight of wands here. So this could be a person at a distance. All right, someone who had, you must know them because there's two couples here. So this is going to be somebody maybe you could be in a relationship with or this is going to be somebody who um, you guys have like a mutual understanding, mutual feeling. So it's like mutual attraction. So even if it isn't like talking to you, this is someone who's kind of like looking, lurking, maybe to see if you've ended a relationship or if you're still holding on to one. That's what they're doing. Yeah. They're looking to see if you ended a relationship, all right? So this person wants to spend time along with you, quality time with you, all right? But they want to see if you've ended some type of relationship. Like, are you still with someone or are you single? Or like, what's happening? That's what this is, <laughs> all right? So I guess they feel like maybe you had somebody who was giving you conflict or giving you trouble. Or if it's not, this is them who's, who's usually creating trouble, causing issues, whatever. All right, but they are looking for some, they could, okay, now if they're not looking for a partnership necessarily, then this is somebody who's actually um, in a partnership, 
all right? So that could be like the status that they're in. Maybe they're married, you know what I mean? Or I think the status is different than that. So they could be kind of married, kind of married. How do you be kind of married? So that's probably the bullshit that they'd be on. They're kind of married. <laughs> How are you kind of married? That's not real. All right, not all. This isn't for everyone. Sometimes people are like, are, are they married? No, they may not be married, but just saying some. For some, this could be somebody who's married, but they're kind of married. You know what I mean? When I think of Sagittarius, I always think of them as being someone who's kind of lighthearted. Ha ha. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I did have a wife. <laughs> I'm like, what? You know what I mean? Or this could be a woman who does that. Like, oh, yeah, that's my husband, but he's never around. You're like, what? What? So, yeah. This is going to be somebody who's very gentle. All right. But if not, this is somebody who, and it's, if it's not like romantically, this is somebody who wants some type of partnership that they can see expanding and they have a choice between you and possibly another person. All right. This is someone who can make something happen. They have the power in their hand. All right. And they're very ambitious and they have a lot of respect and a lot of authority. A lot of people respect them. A lot of people give them authority and they're very good with priorities, handling first things first. All right. And being a leader. So maybe they've been to your house or you've been to their house. All right. I was thinking vacation because of the hearth kind of gives off more like a homely vibe. Like, look at that. How could you not want to hug and kiss on them? Not the dog. I mean, maybe the dog, but not, not, but if he do this, that I'd be so mad. I'd be ready to rough my dog up. You better not lick me in the face. I don't know what you thought that was. But anyway, let's give you some advice on that. Cause that's why this person, this person is going to communicate to you. They're going to communicate about wanting a relationship. All right. About wanting a partnership, about wanting to work together. All right, they're gonna take an opportunity to do so. Look, ha! Opportunity! Come on, bro. Stop playing with your boy. All right, it says opportunity. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling and putting past, oh, dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you've ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind you, the path ahead is clear move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desires so let me give you the signs one more time we have capricorn sagittarius sagittarius capricorn aquarius scorpio okay so pow three that was your reading thanks for watching this your boy nuni and this leo in the third house boom Power four. All right, so power four. Who's keeping tabs on you? Could be a prisoner. All right. And if it's not a prisoner, it's just somebody who's a prisoner to the expectation of others. So we got Aquarius. We got Pisces. Um, I don't remember what series is. I think series was related to Cancer and uh, Virgo, but I'm not for sure. I think it is, but I'm not for sure. If, it, if you know, let me know. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have Leo, all right? This is someone who's feeling like this is taboo. Ooh, sneaky behavior. Ooh, ooh my God. Ooh, my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. I always like stuff like this. I see taboo. I'm like, ooh, what are they, what are they, what are they trying to hide? And then I see the Seven of Swords. Ooh, and then I see a Knight of Wands. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. what are they trying to do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. all right, because I like to be in people's business sometimes. So I'm like, mmm. And look, we got darkness here too. All right, so this is someone who's having problems uh, expressing their femininity. All right, like being nurturing, being gentle. All right, this is someone who could also feel kind of hidden, like their motives may be hidden. All right, there's a lot of intensity, and this is sexual liberation. Oh, so okay, 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 okay. So this could be somebody who's like a nurse. Or someone who's like a prisoner, or this is somebody who's um, somebody who is like a prisoner to other people's like expectations. That's the big thing. Like they 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 can't really figure out how to free themselves of it. All right, this is somebody who wants to leave something in the past. Um, they don't know. Like they worked hard to change, or they want you to leave something in the past. Like they work very hard to change. They want to nurture something. They want to heal possibly, or they want to like. It could be like a uh, like I keep saying this farmer. I don't know who was a farmer, but it, it, it could be a farmer. All right, because I see the scythe. All right. So they could be like harvesting something or, or reaping something right now. Like that's what they're trying to get into. This person is practicing gratitude. And look, it's fields, it's fields. So it's like a farmer or somebody like that, all right? They're out in the, out like desert in a somewhere, field, mountains, all right? Definitely somewhere where it's warm and flowers, farmer. They might be a farmer, 
not all, but some. All right, now if it's not that, then they're really good with plants. All right, they like to take care of plants. All right, this is gonna be somebody who's, uh, mm, they could be very intuitive, all right, very sexually liberated, or they have a shadow side, and that's probably what they wanna do. This somebody's, somebody wants to be very sneaky. All right, now this could be somebody who's very, it could be kind of jealous of you, or this could be somebody who's um, wanting to have you in a third person party, all right? Like they wanna have fun. I, I feel more like, like this is more like a fun, but they could be jealous of you at the same time. They could be very creative, very outgoing, very gleeful, playful, hee hee ha ha, you know what I mean? But very good at talking, very analytical. All right, there's gonna be somebody who's feeling like you're a temptation. They have secret desires. That's what their motive is, all right? They have a motive, hidden motive. Six of Pentacles is a hidden motive. And then we got to step, this is all a hidden motive. So this is like a person who wants to have some type of sexual encounter with you, all right, secretly, all right? And this person is aware of a new chance of opportunity that's opening up. Oh, so they're aware of some type of opportunity or chance that's opened up in your life. All right, there. Yeah. Are you aware of a new chance of luck is about to open up in your in your life? So this person is aware of some type of new opportunity. They see an opportunity. They see a door, and that's what prisoner represents. All right. Let me see if I can cover this up a little bit. But right here, it's like these two little doors because she got her tits out and shit. So it's like these two little doors here, right? And those two little doors down the bottom in that in the book, it was always about like, I think it was like these like. The exits, but you have to like do something, free yourself, contort yourself, or bend yourself, you know, in a way to free yourself. So this person had to like maybe this could be like a people pleaser or like someone who's like, yeah, that's because they're living up to expect. They're they're feeling boxed in or forced to be a certain way by the expectations of others. So they're not really being who they would like to be because of other people. <clears throat> All right, but they're having a hidden motive. It's a lot of hidden stuff. So this person wants to have a good time with you. This could be like a short-term fling, all right? Or this could be like, and they're gonna make a move because it's page of wands, the Knight of Wands is here. So the Knight of Wands with the Seven of Swords, they're gonna find a crafty way to say something to you, all right? This is a person who's practicing some type of gratitude or some type of, they could be wanting, you know, I was about to say, they could be wanting pills for some. They could be wanting pills. I don't know if you guys deal with pills or whatever. They could, maybe this could be like something like that, but like, Maybe like ecstasy or something, or like, uh, maybe, mm, I don't know. Maybe weed, but that doesn't look like weed. Maybe like beans. I don't know. They want to get. They want something. They want. They want to give you something, but like maybe, it's, maybe it's hidden. Because sometimes the Knight of Wands can be a salesman. So like they maybe like they're a sneaky salesman. Maybe they're like something like that. Like somebody who's selling something, but they're not all the way honest. But they're very charming, very charismatic, very very warm with their sales pitch. They're very good, they're very smart. Like they know what to do. This could be somebody who's going through like one struggle after another too. Cause the seven of swords could sometimes be a burden after like one thing after another. So like after one situation's happened, they're having another situation. Or this could be somebody who has ideas after another. So like after one idea, like they're creative. So they may have ideas on top of ideas. So they could be like that. And like as a, as a salesperson, you know what I mean? And that may be their under motive to make money. So like they're always having some way to make money, to always make something happen, shake and bake, you know what I mean? So they could be doing that, and they could be wanting to do that with you, you know what I mean? They could be feeling that way, or they could just be like wanting to put themselves out there in a way that kind of puts you guys in a third person party. But I kind of feel like there's like some type of darkness here that's untamed, and they're trying to like tame it. <laughs> this person is, Acceptance is here again. So this person is trying to lay down the armor from their family and release habits that are not serving them. It says, don't worry, you're not going crazy. All the signs you're seeing and acknowledge are from spirit saying they are with you, helping you. So uh, I don't know, maybe that could be for you or that could be for them. But this person is becoming free of their habits that do not serve them. So this person is going, okay, so that's what this is. This person is healing that energy of keeping the expectations of who other people think that they should be. And that's where they're struggling with their femininity, even if they're male. They're, they're struggling with expressing emotions because the heart chakra is being healed here. And this comes from them having to defend themselves and protect themselves, okay? So this is gonna be somebody who wants to, to like have fun with you. So they're gonna be very analytical about how they wanna have fun with you. So they're gonna be very creative, but very witty and very crafty, devious. Very good because taboo is here. So the way they're gonna do this is gonna be like empowering you and possibly some type of destruction or some type of destructive way. So it's gonna be problems in a way, but this is like their ulterior motive. Because the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles is like an ulterior motive. It's definitely something hidden there, all right? All this is saying hidden, all right? 
they may want to expose themselves to you in a way so yeah like I said this could be a nurse this could be somebody like a comedian this could be somebody who's like a stripper dancer drug dealer um scammer uh something like that this, they're showing you their shadow side the side of themselves that they normally don't show so this could be like a fetish that they have or maybe they're seeing you as a fetish like they're seeing you as a secret desire and a temptation all right in some way and they're trying to be crafty about how they make things happen like how they present themselves because they're going to want to come in and be very playful and very very cheery very optimistic they could be wanting like a child that might be that or they may have just had a child or like they're leave they're leaving someone in the past they, be, they could be leave, maybe leaving a leo in the past or something like that or they could be like leaving a child you know what I mean or leaving like a a happy moment a happy situation like an ex excitement like an excitement and leaving to go somewhere else so that could be like what they're doing like there's an opportunity that they're seeing here and they're seeing either they're seeing you having luck or they're feeling like there's a lucky opportunity with you and they're trying to find their way in there Ooh, let's give you some advice though all right, so this could be, like I said, this is somebody who's dealing with some emotional trauma and a fear around being themselves, so they're healing that. What's the advice? Positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So always remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive and you will create a positive outcome. So, well, that could be a Scorpio too, okay? So let's give me the signs real quick. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, all right? So, pow, four, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy, Nooney, and this Leo in the third house. Look at all that sun on that pineapple, boy. You see that? That's big love. All right, y'all.